welcome to a video with me showing my face again. Usually it gets like zero views, but uh, I'm going to be trying to make this video good. Reasons why I dread school starting. So I probably sound like one of those kids that are just like, oh my god, back to school starting. Uh, but I mean, like, there's a true meaning. Well, they have true meanings. But I mean, like, here's just my reasons in depth. Reason number one bullies. So my school has wide varieties of bullies from 6th grade, 7th grade, 8th grade. Yes, I'm in middle school, please don't laugh. But anyways, it just sucks because, well, I'm usually the most known person as the most weirdest person and the most hated person because I used to act really weird when I first got to that school because I tried to be different. I wanted to be noticed, so I was that, that crazy kid who also got in trouble a lot. So because of that, kids in middle school are stupid. So they don't go past, they don't like, you know, forgive and forget. They just go like, oh, so you're gonna do that again? Just like, no. Because of that, that's why my hair got cut. That's why I had the black out of my hair on December 2016. And that's why I wear more color, but I still go back to all black, but I wear skinny jeans now, and I don't tell people that I like to be called Peter and that I identify as a boy. So I am a female, and I go by my birth name, Sabrina. So fake it. Oh, that's my jam by Seether. One more one more thing before I change the uh, subject. Another reason why the bullies are bad at my school is because someone uh, killed themselves. Not even a year ago at my school in September when I first got there. And I was like, oh, this is going to be great. But yeah, rest in peace. Sorry for your loss. I don't know who they were, but I'm still very sorry. Rest in peace. Reason number two, teachers. Okay, so, you know, I've learned stuff. So that's, they're not bad, like, teachers to teach, but I mean, like, most of them, well, to me, I guess, are all to themselves, or only to the kids that they know. They all, like, they'll just, like, there's some of these, like, one of these teachers, there's this, like, dance teacher who only likes the dance, dance kids. She's so mean to all the other kids, so it's just, like, biased as hell. Reason number three. No lockers. <laughs> you probably heard my voice, stupid. But, um, we have no lockers, so we have to fill our backpacks with any of the school supplies that we need because most of the teachers don't take up the spirals and stuff. Some do, but some don't, so you have to make sure to bring it to every class. And it's just like most of the kids are like, oh, I lost it or whatever. And then it just hurts your back so bad. Let me show you some proof. This backpack I used last year, and see how it would barely close, and my lunch always got squished all up, and here's like most of the shit that was in there. These papers just kept falling out, and because all these like things kept ripping open, all the folders, so, and it's just like, well, that's not my fault, just the way the damn bag is, and how they don't do that. Yep, and then I had a backpack who, were there this back part broke but anyways this is my new one so hopefully they'll help reason number four full of slackers so like I know you know that we have these kids and there's always these students who like always miss their never have their paper doesn't turn in on time always has late work always has like you know I guess like study hall or whatever but my school is literally full of slackers. One whole classroom, all of the kids disrupt, all of the kids don't care. They even tell a teacher, they straight up say, I don't care. And they say, I'm going to the office. They just walk out and they're just like, they have to call and they're like, okay, well, whoever's going down to the office. That's usually what all happens. Every single classroom there is about like majority of those kids in there who just don't care and they just lean back in their chairs. They're like, whatever. They usually crumble up their work, and they're like, nope. So that's literally my whole school. Number five, troublemakers. 
So this kind of switches into what I last said, you know? But, like, so many kids get in trouble every single day. There's always some kind of fight. There's always, every few months, there's always police. And even the principals don't even know why they're there, but they always get the kids up. There's always kids in the discipline over on the other side wearing, like, slacks and stuff like that for, like, a month, depending on how bad you did or how bad you are. Um, yeah, there's always kids over there. And um, a lot of kids already, like, all the kids are, like, they already do drugs. Half of them are all high. And this is just middle school. They're, like, 12. They're literally, most of them that I know are 12. And I'm not sure about the 6th graders, they're kind of new, but like the whole 7th grade, I know that. But since I'm going to 8th grade now, because, you know, I'm supposed to be in high school, but I got held back in 6th grade. We'll see what happens in 8th grade. Also, most of all the 12-year-olds 12 year, old, 12 year olds lost their virginity. And they're all like, I lost my virginity. <laughs> it's like, is that something to be proud about? Well, that was about it. There's probably more, but I can't think of all of it at once. Ignore my finger that's been there at the bottom. This app has where the camera is right there, and then the stop button is, like, right there. So, it's, like, all in the way. But, um, and it won't, like, go upside down to, you know. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I probably don't have the rotation thing on or whatever. But anyways, that's just the things that has happened and happening. And that's why I'm not ready for school. And, you know, all the kids think they're it. They think that they got the whole world in the palm of their hands. They think that they rule everything and that they love to make fun of people. And I'm the main target. My life's great. One more, th one more thing. Don't get me in trouble, but the school where I go to, it's in New Braunfels, Texas. And it sucks. And you, you'll just figure out what the school is, but... It's just terrible. But it's not like those gang kind of things. Like, it's not like a trashy place. Like, this place that I live in is full of just, I guess, rich snobs. Kind of rich. I'm not really rich. This is like the average suburban, suburb place. But, I mean, I'll stop rambling. But, yeah, it's just the kids who think they have it all. But, yeah, that's about it. School starts for me August 28th. And that's going to be in a few weeks.